Hey guys, welcome back to the Box of Mystery. I just wanted to pop up on here real fast and do a quick... Um, I did a first impressions when I did my MC bag and I've been using said products on a regular basis. So I wanted to give you kind of an updated of what I feel about these products. So let me grab them out. Um, I did do the face mask. The, the I still have one to do. The PM mask. I loved it. My kids, like, it totally freaked them out because I look like Jim Carrey from the mask. Um, but other than that, like, my skin felt refreshed. I slept on it. I got up in the morning. And I loved it, you know. It, I, I felt pretty. <laughs> so, the few things that we got in the Ipsy bag this month, um... The first thing was the um, eyeshadow. This was the, I can't even remember, the Dulce eyeshadow. I am wearing it a little bit today. I still love the color. I'm still playing with it. I'll, I'll be completely honest. Like, if I just use that all over the lid and um, do nothing else, it looks great. But when I try and blend it with other colors or try and do, like I'm trying to wear 15 colors today. I, I My lighting in here is really crappy, so that's why you can't tell. Um, it just, it, it it's light enough that it gets washed out very easily. So I still like it. I still like the pigment. I still like the, the product itself. I'm just not 100% sold, you know? Hmm. Will I go out and buy a Dulce palette? Probably not. That's just me. Um, the other thing was the brush. I absolutely love this brush. I use it every single day. Especially, I, I've, I've typically kept it specifically for my highlight. Which, I'm still obsessed. This highlighter is like... It's so pigmented. I know I said this before, and I'm still, like, you can even see it. Even in this crappy lighting, you can see that I've put it on. And I've been doing, I'll dig into it a little bit, not a whole lot, and just stroke, 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 stroke. And you're done, and you've been sun-kissed, and you, ugh. this is, this is the Prosciutto uh, color from the DLS the baked highlighter. I'm obsessed. Will I go out and buy more of this when I have a lot of money? Yes. <laughs> Until then, no, I will stick with this. But again, I've been using this like every day and it doesn't even look like I've touched it. So this is going to last me a long, 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 long time. So I am a happy girl about that. I'm a happy girl about the mask. I'm a happy girl about the brush. I'm eh, on the fence about the, um, Eyeshadow, I, I, maybe because it's so high end compared to what I do use, it probably doesn't blend well with anything else. But I do have one palette in particular that does not play well with others at all. If I try and use it, which is probably my first mistake today, I did try and use a little bit of it today, and I had to fight with it to get it to work together. Uh, the last thing I got was the Tarte Sex Kitten. Um the uh, eyeliner. I do have it on my waterline today and that's basically where I've been using it. I'm obsessed with the, what am I using? I think it's the Miss Rose. Yeah, the Miss Rose. That's what I've been using as my strictly eyeliner and I absolutely love it. It doesn't pull. It glides on really nicely. Like I said in my first impression video, my eyelids are very loose. So if I'm doing something even a, on a pencil basis, it does tend to tug a little bit. This just tugged too much for my preference, so I'm going to stick with my liquidy felty pen here. But this works wonders in my waterline. Um, I did notice today, because I've been wearing makeup every day this week, I picked up a lot more hours at work, so I'm having to doll up a lot more. When I went in, let's see, I worked late last night, I gotta go to work this morning. And when I went in with this first thing this morning, I still had a little bit of color there on my waterline from last night. So I'm like, mind you, I, 
I know a lot of you beauty gurus are going to cringe when um, I say this. I don't take off my makeup every night. I'm too tired. I'm a full-time mom. I work part-time. And when I do work, I'm running. Like, quite literally some days, I am physically running for hours on end. So when I get home at night, I sit down, I eat, I crash. Like, last night I fell asleep almost in my, my dinner plate, so... <clears throat> but I will give you one of my secret tips of the trade, I guess you can say. I've come to find out baby wipes are an awesome makeup remover. They, uh, uh, the Falsies Volume Express that I've been using almost nonstop on these um, eyelashes. I complained about them once before that if you think about crying, they're going to run. I did not get my lower lashes. Um... But it gets everything the baby wipes do. So if you can't afford a bunch of makeup remover or those makeup wipes, which I know are a godsend, um, what was I saying? Oh, baby wipes. Baby wipes. They're they're perfect. So um, I am planning on probably this weekend. I'm gonna sit down and do a. Um, Clean your makeup brushes with me type of tutorial where I, I show you how I do it. I am still expecting... Wish. I love the prices. I hate the delay. I'm still expecting a 32-piece uh, makeup brush set. And when I get that in, I'm going to sit down and do a wearable Wednesday with you where I go over all the brushes that I got while I do a get ready with me. And we test them all out and we see how they work. Um, I do have a video coming up of a, uh, surprise haul that I got and that, you know, if I say anymore, I'm going to ruin it, but I've got multiple plans with that said surprise haul. That's going to be, I think we're looking at four weeks now before, um, I post that video. I've done a lot of pre-filming, and I know our format has gone way out of control. Uh, like I said, on our Facebook page, if you follow us on Facebook, um, my house has been sick. I had that nasty cold. I'm finally, finally, finally on the tail end of it. I'm sure you can hear the rasp in my voice. Um, sorry, i got to do my hair. Uh, <laughs> so, trying to get together with Jen to do any filming has been difficult because I'm trying to limit my kids exposures to her kids so that way her house doesn't catch it which it did anyway because we might as well live together we spend that much time together and then she's been working on moving so having any extra time for her to even bring her kids over for an hour it just it's impossible even this week this week is spring break happy easter everybody i am going to try and do a uh, Fun Craft Friday, Dying Eggs, tomorrow. I'm going to desperately try to do that, even if I just have to set up my camera the crappy way I have. Because I found something on Pinterest that I want to, I think it was Pinterest or Facebook, that I want to try when it comes to dying eggs. And apparently it's perfect for kids <coughs> my age. My age. <laughs> my kids' age, because it's one of the messy, mess-free style, um, dyeing the eggs crafts, and I don't know. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to see how it works. I just got to take the time to go get the supplies, which I could do that first thing tomorrow morning. Not stressing it. Um, I'm just rambling now. Sorry, guys. I don't even know where I was going. <laughs> so, um, oh, I did promise you guys that I would post a picture of my Ipsy bag. Unfortunately, I haven't even had the time to think about coloring this thing. So I still have my markers in here. I still have my create board in here. I just have to sit down and take the time to color it. So, um, and I'm going to forewarn you. I'm sure you guys can tell just by me doing what I just did to my hair to get ready for work. I did dye my hair. So, <laughs> We did a lot of pre-filming about a couple weeks ago. 
So there's going to be a lot of films or a lot of videos coming up that are going to be all my old hair color and then a random spits in of my new hair color. So no, I am not dyeing my hair back and forth and back and forth. I know some hairdressers would just, <gasps> if I did do that, because that would destroy your hair. But um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support. I want to thank you guys for watching when you do watch. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. Please do subscribe. Um, and I do, again, want to apologize because I feel horrible that I haven't gotten the chance to catch up and do a lot more filming and get ahead on, um, on life, pretty much. So, um, as always, if you like us, please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, The Box of Mystery. I do try and post some updates. I've been trying to get some feedback, so please... Any feedback will will um, will help us to make our channel better because we want what you want. Um, as always, if you like us, subscribe. If not, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.